Hey everyone, it's the detective. I'm back again, and it's finally time to actually take a closer look and review at the new Enoch Ultra, and I am really excited for this. I found this nearly a month ago, and I still haven't opened it. Nonetheless, we actually have a bunch of the other Wave 1 Baku gear. I'm not totally sure why um, they don't show the Wave 2, because this guy is from Wave 2. He's not supposed to be in Wave 1. But a bunch of other people also found Enoch with kind of, you know, the Wave 1 on the back. So my theory as to what this is, is they just decided to ship out some Wave 2 products early with the Wave 1 stuff just to maybe get people interested in Wave 2. Either that or this is just an earlier production run and that he was kind of changed to Wave 2 at the last minute. Either way, I'm super excited. So I'm just going to open this guy up and we'll take a look at everything you get inside of the Enoch and Baku Gear pack. All right, and here's everything that we get in the Enoch and Baku Gear set. And I just want to get a few things out of the way. First of all, yes, this is the Carfight Vanguard playmat. And that's because I recently got a few boxes of Phantasmal Steed Restoration. And I took out my Vanguard playmat to swap the backgrounds when I did those videos. And I never got around to putting my Bakugan playmat back. And I was just really excited to do this video. So I didn't really feel like swapping it. So just ignore that. Another thing is these cards were really kind of horribly bent. You can see how curved those are. Now, this guy has been sitting on my dresser, and I do have a radiator behind my dresser, so it's possible that the bent in the cards was due to that. However, I don't totally know why it would affect the cards and nothing else, so it's possible that, unfortunately, that's how they were out of the factory. However, I cannot vouch for that. Nonetheless, I'm probably going to stick these in some textbooks to flatten them down. Dark Helm for 3, plus 200, plus 2, just a vanilla. But it definitely, um, it's definitely a good, just generic Darkest gear. And Enoch Ultra, that art is just fantastic. We have a Magic Shield and a Fist, and a 704. So, he doesn't have an effect, but those are honestly some pretty good stats, because on a Magic Shield, he can get up to 1350 with 4 damage. And especially on a first turn, I mean, 4 damage isn't a ton, but a 1350 Bakugan is really great, and for team attacks too, especially if you're going first with this, it's really just great to get that out early. Anyway, to round off the kind of competitive aspect of this, let's take a look at the cores. A 400 and minus 2 cost Baku gear. That is not too bad, because 1100 is pretty great, just assuming we're using it with Enoch. And that means that in theory, you could turn 1, roll Enoch, if you land in this core, you're sitting at 11, minus 2 to Baku gear, tap your 1 energy, play Dark Helm for 1, plus 200, plus 2, you'll be sitting at, you know, 1100, plus 200, 1300, so not as much, as, not 1350, not like if you were to, you know, not if you were like to grab a 650 Baku, uh, Baku, Baku core, but then you'd also have 6 damage, so depending on how weak or powerful your opponent's Bakugan is, it might actually be a smart idea to try to roll onto this core and then get this or get some other um, Baku gear and then just boost up your damage because six damage is still a lot and you're only going down by 50 B power. So that's pretty great, not gonna lie. And then the fist is a plus one and minus two. Honestly, not the best. I personally prefer B power related fists because in my opinion, B power is more important because then you get the team attacks off, and I would rather just win battles more consistently than deal more high damage whenever I do win a battle. Anyway, here's Enoch, and um, in the ball form, he actually kind of reminds me of the Battle Planet Nilius Ultra. I mean, Battle Planet Nilius Ultra was a little thicker than this, and of course, he did have the heads, the, the outline of the heads, but just in terms of the way that you have the big wings and then the, the double-jointed legs that kind of fold up and around, he does kind of remind me um, of the Nilius Ultra. You do kind of have this part that kind of flips up behind him, and then the head right there. I really love how you can kind of see the top of his head. That looks great. Of course, the darkest logo. And it's honestly been a while since I've actually played around with Sabakugan, so uh, let's see if I can roll him and not make a fool out of myself. And yeah, I totally made a fool out of myself. Jeez, um, all right. <laughs> there we go. Um, there he is. Um, at some point, I am planning to do kind of a video where I just, like, roll out a ton of Bakugan just and put it in slow-mo and stuff. But, you know, here he is. He does have two manual parts, being the horns. But 
you know, usually people would complain about manual parts, but I actually like the fact that they're manual because if you leave them down, you get a totally different look. So you can have multiple uh, Enox of multiple different factions, and just by adjusting the horns, they kind of gain a little bit of a different characteristic. I really like the way that the legs look. They do look kind of chicken-like, but, you know, he is supposed to be a Bahamut, and he is supposed to be kind of, you know, very um, menacing and tall with these really thick legs, not gonna lie. Um, I do I do appreciate the molded arms. It doesn't look like those actually move or anything. Um, little green dots under there kind of also reminds me of Bilius, I guess. He is super menacing. Just look at that face. It's got some fantastic detail. And getting into the Baku gear, the Twilight Axes, really appreciate the kind of matte, uh, clear, translucent, uh, purple plastic. When you drop them on, it basically just becomes one double-bladed axe, and then it splits into two kind of single-wielded axes. Honestly, I think it looks a little silly on Enoch, considering that you're literally just putting a bunch of axes onto his back. But I guess you could kind of imagine that they would, you know, fuse to his wings or something. And you do have these really cool looking shields which go on too. Nonetheless, everyone, there is my review on Enoch. Such a cool Bakugan. I am so excited to have him. Um, and I will see you in the next video, which is probably going to be on the Diamond Starter Pack from Wave 1. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Detective. Peace out.